Hey, Shawnee Alliance, it's Pastor Chris, and I just want to let you know today is Wear Blue Day. April is a month for many things, but one of those things is child abuse prevention. And so it's been awesome. We have a picture with several of our staff, and we're going to be posting that to support the work of child abuse prevention. Now, I'm here in the Children's Ministry Lobby, and for many of you, you know that on a Sunday morning, if you're feeling really rushed, it can be a real pain because when you're getting ready to go to church, you also have to walk through check-in procedures and, you know, all those kinds of things. But here's what's really neat that I want to share with you today. In 2020, the reporting of abuse and neglect dropped by about 50% now in County. Now, that sounds really great, but here's the problem. It wasn't because children were in less danger. It's because the parents by themselves didn't have the resources of schools and churches and other institutions with adults who were intentionally mindful of children's safety. And so what we saw in 2021 in Allen County was that those reports spiked. Now here's the cool thing. Our family life team, along with our congregation, you, we are absolutely called to be mindful of the children that God puts into our paths, that we are stewards of these young people creating the image of God. And part of that is to be mindful and to be proactive in the prevention of any kind of child abuse or neglect. So we do it organizationally here at Shawnee Lions Church with our policies and our procedures and our training. But I want to encourage you as well, because at the end of the day, the hundreds and hundreds of people who call this church their home, they are the greatest tool we have to help children in our community. So if you're unaware, you are always welcome to report any suspected abuse or neglect. You can do that by calling Allen County Children's Services. You can do that by contacting local law enforcement. And just continue to be part of the answer and part of the solution. We hope that one day we won't need these kinds of policies and procedures, but the reality is that we are going to continue to keep our kids safe, and I want to continue to call us to do more.